uh, Eddie had originally called me the fabulous one. Shane Douglas, like the fabulous Fargos. And, you know, Eddie was always kindling back to Met to uh, Memphis. And uh, my ring music was "Are You Gonna Go My Way" by Lenny Kravitz. And uh, you know, they, he he gave me a decent little push, but it was you know just just almost shameless as a baby face pretending to be a heel uh it was sort of like wishy-washy uh no real direction i mean how do you know what, what's a fabulous one you know it's 1950s that might have worked not in the 90s and uh we went to a booking meeting one day and me doug gilbert paul Heyman, todd gordon eddie gilbert uh there were a few other people in there and after a few minutes, Todd and Eddie got up and walked out of the room. And several minutes went by, maybe a half hour. Todd came back in and called Paul out of the room. And they left for a short while and came back. And Todd said, uh, with Doug Gilbert still sitting there, said, uh, Eddie Gilbert's quit and left the building. Uh, Paul Heyman is the new booker. It was that sudden. It was that quick. And it, we never got a full explanation as to why Doug, of course, jumped right up, took his stuff and left. And uh, Paul uh, did the tapings that night. I think that was the night that Paul had uh, introduced me in the ring uh, with Snuka and uh, Morocco and a bunch of other guys in the ring. And shortly after that at Valley Forge, we were doing a, a tournament, a title tournament to decide the ECW champion, my Eastern Championship wrestling champion. And it was a cage match for the title. And uh, that night in the dressing room, after that match, I'd won. And Paul came to the back and said, I have an idea for a gimmick for you. In 1993, the NFL had just started delineating one player per year as the franchise player. It was supposedly the most important player, the, the, the key player to each team. And uh, Paul said, I'm thinking about calling you the franchise. Well, at first it sounded odd because you know, we were just hearing this in the NFL and it seemed almost like we were following and copying. And uh, he said, I want you to be uh, that arrogant heel. He said, put it this way, you're the captain of the football team who steals everybody's girlfriend and fucks them. That was the only direction Paul ever gave me on the character. And I remember thinking to myself, like, I can play with that. Like, you know, the, to be that sort of dick in your face, you know, I'm better than you. And, uh, and then he had, uh, of course, Sherry Martell and Curtis uh, Hughes with me. And uh, that was where the franchise character came from. And the, the Perfect Strangers did not come to later. That originally was Chris Benoit's ring music. Then when we formed the original Triple Threat, me, Benoit, and Malenko, it became the Triple Threat's music. They left shortly after to go to WCW, and just by proxy, it became my music. When I would go to the ring, the sound guy, not knowing any better, just kept playing Perfect Strangers. And I liked it a hell of a lot better than I liked Are oh, You Gonna Go My Way? So uh, that's where that came from. That's how it all started the franchise character.